Hi, my name is Libby Cook and I am from Group 19 and today we are going to be discussing General Motors. Um, so General Motors was founded in Detroit, Michigan in 1908. Um, today it is still one of the leading car manufacturers in the world giving us cars such as um, Cadillacs, uh, GMs, trucks, so we see them on the road every day. Um, General Motors, uh, when they first started they were a booming business, but like every a lot of businesses, they've had some bumps along the way. Um, since they had bumps, um, they are constantly working to fix their problems and find solutions and working with um, their team to make be a better company. Um, GM, once it fixes its problems and um, just keeps being active in the car world, they will um, continue to be a great business. So next, um, I'm going to introduce Nicole and she's going to go into um, the diagnosis and kind of explain about that. Okay, I'm going to be talking about the diagnosis. So they were a really strong company when they started out in 1908, um, and the majority of their problems started in 1955. Um, they started having like quality problems with their steering wheels and the ignition switches. Um, they originally took the problems in stride, but um, customer service began to diminish, and customers were really unsatisfied with the customer care. Um, so with this uh, decrease in customer care um, came the blame and where to put it in the company. Um, they were really, customers were really disappointed and felt really left out. Um, customer service was just really bad. Um, 2.6 million vehicles were recalled, um, that was the cobalt. And um, the company shifted blame um, nobody really wanted to take responsibility for the problems. Um, the engineering department, lawyers, investigators, they were all to blame, but nobody really took the responsibility. Um, the CEO of the company, which is shown right there, she was called before the Senate and the House, and she it was a 325-page investigation and ultimately left customers in the dust. Um, so the next problem, the next main problem, is um, the culture crisis that General Motors is under right now. Um, the General Motors website has 95 vehicles currently listed, and 19 new vehicles are set to release. Um, and the widespread of resources that um, General Motors is trying to put into this has left them just really spread thin. Um, so their marketing department has too many segments to try to hit at one time, so they've really lost their identity through the situation. So the two main um, issues for General Motors are the awful customer service that they've come to be known for and their culture identity crisis. Um, so next is Jacob with the solutions. All right, so I'm going to talk to you guys about the solutions, and there's many different solutions for both of these, but it's important to consider them all because each one can lead to a different outcome. And um, so for the lack of responsibility, they can encourage accountability, create a more friendly environment, or talk to those lack lacking responsibility if the circumstances contribute to the issue. And they can also re-engage through the communicating roles, responsibilities, and objectives. And... Um, from there, I went on and looked at what other companies did to solve this problem. And according to Businesses Don't Fail, Leaders Do in 2012, leaders refuse to take credit for success but will accept responsibility for failures. So in this case, the company actually went and talked to those leaders that didn't accept it and if in some cases they actually fired them. And so up next, another problem they faced was their culture crisis. And for this, some people didn't care that they filed for bankruptcy in 2009 and again in 2014 with the ignition switch recall. And so that led to an even bigger culture crisis with those two and other events that occurred in between that time. And some things they can do to help their culture crisis was hire private investigators and actually hold public hearings about the findings they found from that, talk to those families who suffered from the incident, and reevaluate safety programs. And in fact, that is exactly what General Motors did in 2014 with the ignition switch recall. GM hired uh, Mary Barra as a new CEO, and under her leadership, she hired private investigators, 
discuss those findings in public and talk to those families that were injured from the incident. And she actually put in a new safety program as well. So up next is Costa. I'm going to be talking about action, setting better objectives. Um, GM needs to be more driven towards their customers and be a more trusted company. And they also need to focus on innovation towards their product and be a better company for the future. Building accountability toward the process of commitment to manage improvement and reporting. And by being a better company for the future, improve working layouts as well as setting better goals. Um, next is reevaluating their safety programs. Um, they're going to prevent issues during the vehicle development and catch um, issues as well as review field data to react quickly. Um, identifying sooner, which will allow more time to warn the consumer ahead of time. And up next is communication failure. Um, individuals are going to be re-engage individuals by better communicating roles as a company. And they also need to engage in with their company branches and employees in order to communicate about the complications they have. Um, as well as communicating to each other about the problems that were issued. And next is friendlier environment. Um, GM could take action by electric systems engineering as well as vehicle performance and supplier quality and also taking action increasing demand for hybrid and electric vehicles because gas prices are going up as well. And up next is Drake evaluation. All right, we'll talk about the evaluation of the problems that GM's facing. Uh, GM needs to first uh, reevaluate the product, the management, and the employees as a whole. Um, and by doing this, they can trace the origin of the product and either fire employees that are messing up or fix the machinery that's causing all these issues. Uh, main issues are safety, customer satisfaction, and some of the management crises. Um, for safety, they can implement more crash testing, and uh, GM actually had the first rollover facility uh, ever to a crash testing facility. Um, they could also implement more testing of like fire, see how the vehicles react if they're in a fire, underwater, and then just wear and tear as a whole on the vehicle. Um, they could do more to improve customer satisfaction by having a database with all their customers in it. Um, they could also offer incentives to like surveys, so maybe like if they bought their car from a GM lot, they can get a service for free if they fill out surveys and give GM feedback to how their product's working. Um, all this would allow them to collect uh, the needed data that they need to improve their company as a whole. And for the management issues, there's less than uh, 20 GM plants in the U.S., so all the top managers could come together easily and meet once a year or twice a year just to talk about all their issues from their particular plant themselves. And uh, corporate GM needs to step up and do more plant vi visits and travel around and see where the problems are coming from. And then next is uh, Keegan to finish this up. In conclusion, General Motors is one of the largest manufacturers in the world. We provide many jobs and we are one of the top employers in, the, in America. If GM succeeds, the economy will succeed and also the American people will succeed with that. So we need to improve our business to create more jobs and provide a better world for everyone. To start this, we need to have a culture change. We need to open up about our issues and communicate them well with our public. That starts with our customer service when people report the issues making sure everyone is up check with our services when they come in for a repair, and just overall finding better ways to improve our customers' well-being. We also need to redevelop. That's overall from the top to the bottom. We need to change the aspects of the design, the safety testing, and also back to interaction with our customers. We need to improve our corporate to our bottom level employees. Everyone needs to know that us as GM need to have a set goal 
and need to meet those goals in the process. So as we learned today, um, GM has some problems to fix, but if they keep continuing to fix their problems, um, they will remain one of the largest car manufacturers in the world today. Um, so we want to thank you for watching our presentation, and we hope you enjoy. Thank you.